Hey everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of The Listening Room, where I kind of run through some of the stuff that I'm trying to listen to in my spare time away from reviewing all sorts of stuff. So you're going to see things here that I'm listening to at the gym, some of the stuff that I've had to review and actually have really liked and continue listening to, uh, some old favorites that I pulled out to listen to while I'm cooking, or listening to in the background while I'm working, or listening to in the car, blah, 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 blah. Uh, basically what I'm listening to right now, right? That's why it's called The Listening Room. So uh, I've got a, an assortment of things. I've been, uh, you know, taking some time off from work. I've had a chance to uh, dig into some old favorites again, uh, but a lot of new stuff here that, um, you know, I'm just kind of getting into for the first time. So it's like a mishmash of everything. So let's hop right into it. Uh, let's see. First of all, uh, these two that I picked up, oh, not too long ago, from a band that I've heard dribs and drabs from over the last year or two. But uh, so many people keep saying, you got to listen to these guys, you got to listen to these guys. So I decided to pick up two of their CDs, and I like them quite a bit. The band is called Snarky Puppy. We've got Tell Your Friends, and we like it here. So kind of like a modern-day jazz fusion band. Uh, big band. they got a lot of members, uh, a lot of great instrumentalists in this band. I really like this stuff. Great instrumental music, jazzy, proggy, kind of jammy a little bit in spots. Um, really, really good stuff. Strong. I like it. Snarky Puppy. I will be investigating more of their stuff. All right, here's a band very recently that I got these. And in fact, they've been a band that I've been hearing a lot about over the last, oh, bunch of years. Uh, a prog band from the UK that a lot of people are really into. And I've heard... All sorts of songs from them over the years, but for whatever reason, I've never actually just really dove into any of their albums. So the band is Big Big Train, so uh, I'm one of my recent question and answers shows. Um, a couple of you asked, what about Big Big Train? And I said, you know what? I know of them. I've heard some of their stuff, but give me some recommendations. So I went and picked up a bunch of their CDs, and i got to say, uh, I haven't gotten through them all, but I'm making my way through. So we got the, the Underfall Yard, right? Is that what that's called? The Underfall Yard, yep. Uh, we've got, uh, what is this one? English Electric. Okay. We've got, uh, and this one I did check out. This is, uh, Grimm's Pound. This is quite good. And then this one, this is one of the ones that I had heard previously and I like quite a bit. Folklore. This is really good. I love that cover art. And then, uh, this one here, the Wassail EP. Thanks to Anthony Ferraro, who had an extra copy and floated me one quite good. So Big Big Train, uh, nice discovery. Kind of digging the kind of vintage Genesis and little bits of Tull and whatnot. Speaking of Genesis, and I'm probably going to do a rant on this. So I recently did top 10 song shows for both Genesis and Rush. And I purposefully, because I just don't like the material as well, uh, omitted most 80s Genesis in my top 10 Genesis show. Because for me, the best Genesis material was up and to and including the Duke album. And, you know, the albums that came after that have some strong stuff, uh, but a lot of weak stuff. And it's not my favorite albums, right? So I, I didn't include any of those, uh, any songs from those albums, not even in my honorable mentions, okay? I, I kind of knew that going in, right? But enough people kept saying, well, Pete, you know, there's some great stuff on those post-Duke albums. Uh, how can you just discount them? And I said, you know what? I'm going to go and spend some serious time re-listening to all of those and, you know, kind of reformatting my opinion. Well, I've done that. So, you know, we're specifically talking about, of course, you know, uh, the self-titled album and the uh, We Can't Dance album and the Invisible Touch album and the Abacab album, which I will say, this is actually a pretty damn good album. Uh, you know what? Yes, there's some very strong stuff on these albums. There's some very poppy stuff that we've all heard way too many times as well. But there's also some deep cuts on some of these albums that are pretty damn strong. So what I'm going to do, and I've done the same thing with Rush, you know, because for me, Rush, uh, up until including Grace Under Pressure, uh, I've never been that huge on the couple albums that came after it in the decade. So we're talking about, you know, Hold Your Fire and Power Windows and um, uh, Presto. But I've been listening to those again, and I still kind of have the same opinion on Presto and Hold Your Fire, but Power Window is a pretty damn good album. And I think I'm actually liking Grace Under Pressure, even though I've always liked that album, I'm liking it more. But again, I think that's a rant for another day. We're going to do a rant on revisiting 80s Genesis and Rush. So I think uh, you can be on the lookout for that. All right, some uh, some newer stuff that I've gotten in that I'm just digesting. Uh, Warl Dane's new one, Shadow Work. 
damn good. You saw this on my new product showcase, my What's Hot show yesterday. Damn good. Man, may he rest in peace. Uh, the latest from the skull. What's the name of this one again? The Endless Road Turns Dark. Man, great doom. Eric Wagner and company, ex-trouble vocalist. Uh, Wasteland from Uncle Ass and the Deadbeats. Again, some of these you saw on my uh, What's Hot show. This one, for some reason, I inexplicably left off the What's Hot show, but I should have included it. This is a great new band called The Wizards, Rise of the Serpent. Fantastic, fantastic band if you love, like, the new wave of British heavy metal stuff. Uh, classic Thin Lizzy, you know, early Black Sabbath, that sort of thing. Great, great band. For those of you who say I only talk about older bands, now a lot of new stuff that I dig as well. Metal Church, damned if you do. And I wish I, wish I didn't get this one so late because this would have definitely been in my uh, top picks of the year. It's dynamite. Uh, the Devil's Hand featuring Mike Slammer and Andrew Freeman. I'd also discuss this. Great album. What else we got here? All right, now, you like old stuff? All right, we're visiting some old stuff here. The first Budgie. After I did my Budgie Top 10 show, I had to go back in and listen to some of those old budgies. I love the first one. I love them all, actually. That's a great one. For my friend who made a comment on the Top 10 Gentle Giant songs video that I tend to talk about Gentle Giant in every video, which I don't, uh, but now that, you, now that you had to bring that up, okay, we're going to talk about him again. So uh, I've been listening to the interview album this week, as well as Gentle Giant's Octopus, okay, I do not talk about Gentle Giant in every episode. Just because I've done two shows on Gentle Giant in the past month does not mean I do that. Uh, in celebration of my Grand Funk Railroad Top 10 Songs show, how about E Pluribus Funk? It's cranking this out at the gym just two days ago. Love it. How about Black Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath? Never get tired of this one. What else we got here? Been digging into some Credence lately. How about the whole Credence catalog, right? You know? All these great ones. What a great band Credence were. Cosmos. Factory. So many great Credence. I mean, you know, Credence was so much more than the hits, too, you know. Some great one of the one of those bands that had just some great, great deep cuts out of that first album. I was just playing this while I was cooking dinner last night. All sorts of great Credence stuff. How about some live? Here's a boot for you, live at Woodstock. I wish they would just release this officially, but you know what? I got it. Don't matter. What else we got here? How about Stars? Believe it or not, I only ever had a really good compilation and a live album from Stars. I decided to rectify that and toss the greatest hits or the hits compilation and get the actual albums on CD. So how about the debut, All right? How about Attention Choppers? Or Shoppers, I should say. Coliseum Rock, and of course, Violation. Great stuff by Stars, man. What an underrated band, huh? Underrated band that so many people love and loved. Um, great stuff. How about the second Backstreet Crawlers album, which is called Second Street? Never had this one. Always had the debut. You know, that's Paul Kossoff and company. After he left free, shortly before he died. Very, very good sophomore uh, album follow-up to that. How about more of The Skull? The Skull debut. Another good one. And here's two. I, you know, I always give credit where credit is due. Uh, and I don't remember the, the name of the viewer, but one of you had suggested in one of my recent shows that, uh, well, what about obscure Canadian hard rock band Thundermug? I was like, what about him? Let me check them out. Yeah, good stuff. So we've got uh, Strikes. Where's that? Lightning? She has the Strikes. And Orbit. Really good Canadian heavy rock from the mid early mid-70s. Good stuff. So uh, plenty of listening there, right? Huh? A lot of good stuff. I'm sure, you know, I, I'm sure there's more, but I'm not going to sit here for a half hour telling you everything, exactly everything that I've listened to because um, over the last couple weeks since we did this last show. But I think that's a good, healthy... Uh, list of stuff that I've been listening to when I can squeeze time in. So make sure you visit us on the web at www.catranquilly.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're here on the mighty YouTube uh, as often as possibly can be. Uh, a lot of stuff coming up. We've got some top 10 songs, shows, a lot of them coming up. Uh, I'm trying to think what some of the next ones that I'm doing. Um, Jesus, so many. MSG, 
Dio. Scorpions. I think I'm doing a Scorpions one tomorrow, I think. Um, what else? Jeez, I don't know. So many. Got some rants cooking. Got a couple history of shows in the works. Uh, I think we're done with new product, what's hot shows for uh, till till the end of the year. Probably kick back up with them in January. So lots more stuff coming before the New Year's, but um, I will definitely see you before Christmas break. All right, so have a good one, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.